guys and welcome back to another Daft in the Garden video with me Sean. Now, it has been a minute. There has been a lot going on and this is why I've not had a video out. Here's a rundown. I've hurt my back again. Really find it hard to get out here and do a bit of work. Can't stand for long periods of time. Can't sit for long periods of time. It's a bit of a pain in the back. Ha ha ha. But um, I'm out here now. I'm going to try my best and I hope you enjoy. Ha ha. Life just got on with So here we go. We've got some tomato plants. Uh, grown by seeds and they've been in my mini greenhouse for a little while. Talk about greenhouses. Um, the bottle greenhouse has the roof has compl completely collapsed. So we are doing some changes in the garden. I'll go round them and I'll show you a little bit of update more on that later. But I thought I'd get, give you a week and I catch up on the gre bottle greenhouse. With circumstances the way it were, I had to cancel that project and there'll be things coming to light later on which will be going to be happening with the greenhouse but we digress let's go on with this well, so the tomato plant i've got a mini greenhouse i've been growing them on there from seeds they've been doing really well i actually planted quite a few out here already at one point but we had a kind of late frost and it killed pretty much every single one of them. Uh, still got quite a few left but they're all saved in the greenhouse. Basically all I'm going to do is plant them in the ground. Let's just see how I'm doing it. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see on these, can you see this like a, the jaggy part of the the root there? Well, the, not the root, the, the plant. Well the reason it's like all furry like that is because you can actually they actually turn into roots as uh, if they get exposed to dirt so all you would really have to do if, when you're putting these in the ground is take these roofs, okay and anything lower the, um, at your ground level even if you want to take that one off you can do that and then just plant it in to that depth right so that's and that will kind of make it a little bit more um, secure in the ground and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So that's us dug a hole. What I'm going to do is gently take this out. You can see quite a lot of the roots here. The way around, that means it's done its good, a good job. I'm just going to take that off. And that off. That's off, and then we'll go scunny. And I'm just covering up to the furry part on that root there. I don't know, I think I'll give it a zoom in. Right, so the root, the furry part is just underneath where my finger is. Right. And I'm just burying it up to that point. So that'll be there. And what I'm going to do, once I've got a few minutes because I'm just going to put a, a rod in there and that will help it grow straight. Mm. I don't know if you'll see this in the camera but there's eggshells here um, and that's because I've basically been in the garden at one point with some old eggs um, I basically never ate them in time and rather than giving them to my worm farm I've basically just given them to um, the garden straight away. So that actually kind of, these plants as much as possible, just giving them some calcium, proteins, things like that. Um, and it just goes straight back to the dirt. And the garden worms will take care of them rather than my comfort. But there has been a lot of kind of changes in the garden since my last video. Um, I know the last video was us kind of carving out the pumpkins for last year. So that was quite fun. Um, my sister-in-law and my wife in the, in the living room just carving them out in the big dining table. That was fun. Um, so hopefully this year we get to do roughly the same thing. And I might as well ask now and get the comments coming in. Um, what do you think I should carve in my pumpkin this year? 
because uh, either I'll get a bought one or I'll grow one. Most likely I'll hopefully grow one. That'll be a lot better than a store bought one. Um, but yeah, comment and comment uh, underneath what you think I should grow for Halloween. Oh, I'll grow, but uh, carve in the pumpkin this year. And what we'll do is we'll try and get the wife, the sister-in-law, and me to carve them out and see what one looks best. You know, do the competition. And it's plenty of warning in advance to find out who goes the best. And yeah, we're getting there. You hear the dogs in the background chasing something or playing, I don't know, they're doing something. Oh, they're just playing, they're playing chases. Anyhow, we will carry on. So this is what we've got. We've got six, but we have still another, we've still got quite a few, but they're still quite young, really young still. So um, we'll give them a bit more time to mature in the greenhouse and we'll get them planted here as well. So this full section here, right up to this wooden part here, will be strawberries. Uh, I might as well take you the tour uh, since, yeah, that's them done. So let's go on the wee tour around the garden, see what I've done so far this year. So as we see, here's strawberry, uh, the tomatoes. Uh, after the wee camera part here behind the scenes, this section here is going to be kept for pumpkins. Now, as you can see, I already tried to plant pumpkins straight on the ground here, but I think the birds got to them and eaten quite a lot of the pumpkin seeds. Yeah, quite a few of them. Like hearing about the place, uh, but yeah, so this will be a pumpkin section this side here, cutting across this section here. Uh, this first section here will be for beetroot, um, but I've mixed them in with these onions here, which I've started growing from bulb. Um, here's a wee beetroot thing here, and yeah, that's the onions. Uh, quite a lot of onions coming through. They're doing pretty well. Here's the packets for them. <laughs> uh, then this section here, I have some rows of carrots and parsnips. Uh, and this row here. Back section here is I actually want to have some um, sunflowers all the way at the back here, um, towering right against this fence at the back. So this, that's my idea here. I did already start growing uh, some carrots and parsnips around this section here. And I'm going to hopefully get some corn growing in this section. So that's that's the, the raised beds. Then we'll go straight to the middle. And where I got some of this, um, the dirt from, the person left some flower roots in them and they're called Diana's. Uh, Diana bulbs. So I started growing them just in there because they were found in the dirt that was given. And this full middle section here is all my strawberries. So I should should get a good yield from this full section once it's all done. Coming on to the strawberries now, um, as you can see they're here, which means the tower is no longer with us. Um, I had a problem with the dogs constantly climbing on top of it and getting all around it so I have decided to just get rid of it. It was a good idea. It's These are all the strawberries from that tower so it done really well in regards to the productation of the amount of strawberries. I just think because of my situation with the dogs it's better for me to put them in this kind of situation here. Now, as you can see around the edges here, I put some lights on them, but around the edges, I have put the old roof of the greenhouse all the way around as a miniature fence to try and keep the dogs out. And I've also made a makeshift path for myself in here as well. I need to get this finalized. A lot of weeds and stuff like that are growing through. But yeah, this is the, the pathway that I've got. I need a couple of more of these bricks finish off this wee section in here which has became a jungle uh, because I've not had time to get out here. Um, going through this section here, I've put this wee barrier up to keep this 
this crazy dog out. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. No, not me. Say hello. Say hello to the people. There's the other one. Say hello. Say hello. Yeah, there you go. So they came along, came along to say hello. Now the greenhouse bottle house is still up. It's here beside us. But there's no roof on it. So yeah, it's just a disaster in there. Just a lot of storage things and things like that. The garden fence has decided to fall down and be basically all terminated full. So we are going to be replacing that with these uh, panels here, but they're very expensive. So we're going to have to do that one part of the time and lead that up the garden. And you'll see as well, there is no longer a decking. We had decking with the chump punching bag and things like that there. That is no longer there, that's gone. We have the worm uh, bin that was here. That is now, oh, I can't even lift it. It's broken, it's all falling apart. Uh, I've not got the strength to open the door and put it back down anymore um, because of my back. So yeah, that is that is now been emptied. That was emptied just before this happened with my back. And it is now in this tower and it's progressing pretty well. Um, I'll see if I can get you a wee view. And here the camera view. This camera is not going to be the best. No, that's too heavy to do a while. But yeah, there you go. There's a wee sneak feel of what's happening. Now that's the second layer. First layer's down here and uh, it's a lot kind of, it's less, uh, less basically comp composing, decomposing, um, fruits and veg. Uh, the raspberries are doing really well still. They are still kind of going strong. That does need to be repotted. Look, this actually fell at one point and it's broken all that side. So I really need to get it repotted and get rid of all this moss and get rid of all of that. But yeah, you're gonna, we're gonna get a good bit of yield from them this year. Uh, here is the rest of the tomatoes uh, they're on here and yeah they're they're doing pretty well that's the miniature greenhouse here got a couple in there a lot of baby ones as you can see a lot younger ones so i'll get them back in here and that is the tour around the disaster of a garden these days that's the end of the video guys thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one bye